Hello everybody and welcome to my 77th VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use a update statement through your SQL uh, and so what an update statement does is it just allows you to update a particular field or multiple fields uh, with certain criteria so uh, I'm going to try and update my own name on here from Matthew Sands to Matt Sands uh, so I'm just going to create it as if I was doing it for, for users to amend their own names. So uh, let's go to developer and we're going to insert an ActiveX control and then I'm just going to call it uh, amend name. And then let's double click on it and put some code in. So we're going to first of all go dim new name as string and then new name equals input box please advise new name and you could do it from a text box on the sheet and then uh, could do it, copy it that way rather than doing it this way, but I'm just going to do it this way because it's quicker uh, and lazier. But um, we then want to put in our SQL string. So uh, dim SQL str as string and SQL str equals, and then we want to put update. And then we put the name of the table, so users, and we want to set and then square bracket user name equals apostrophe because it's text, and then we want to set it to the new name. And then closing apostrophe, and then we want to put in a where and then user ID equals and then ampersand environ bracket username close bracket ampersand and then our final apostrophe uh, so let's just put in an underscore there and put that onto the next line uh, and so what this gives us is well, it's going to update the users table and it's going to set the username equal to new name uh, but only where the user ID is the same as the current user. So we then want to run that. So call connect database. Uh, and then we can put in db com dot execute sql str and then call close database uh, and you could set up a function that just takes in the sql string and then runs these three lines of code uh, I find that I like to control for when I'm connecting and closing the database um, because you can run multiple statements in between connecting and closing and it's just going to make it run slightly faster um, if you leave the connection open in between them or sometimes you want to close it down sooner than the end and then open it back up again at a later time if there's going to be a lot of code running in between. So I just do it as it goes, it's only an extra couple of lines of code. So. Um, and then if we run this, so let's press play, in fact let's press cancel and let's go onto the object and do it as we do it as a user. So we're not in design mode, so click on there, please advise new name, so Matt Sands, press OK. And then come back into our sheet uh, and then go to close and open it up again. And you'll notice that it's updated my name to Matt Sands. Uh, if we do it again, and then let's put a uh, Jim Bob, uh, and then close this, uh, Jim Bob, 
Um, it's quite a useful feature to have for people uh, to be able to change their names because people get married, uh, people have their names spelt wrong when they're first put in and then get really upset about it, uh, things like that. Um, one thing you've got to be careful of with names though is the apostrophes. So let's say I tried, I have my name changed to Matt uh, O'Reilly and press OK. And it's going to say it's gone wrong because it's treating that apostrophe uh, as a um, as the end of the string and then it's going wrong. So that's something we need to learn to fix. So that's going to be it for update statements. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how you can fix problems like that. So thanks for listening. Please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.